Take a look at servo setup on the T-Rex 550X. A little bit different than the L, not too bad. I've got servos installed. Let me see elevator servo here. Elevator servo installs with the spline shaft to the rear and the servo going straight across, the, the arm coming straight across the body here. I do have the anti-rotation bracket in place. Cyclic servos come in from the outside with the, I'm sure we can get this, the servo arm is here facing out with the ball facing aft. So this is your left side cyclic. This would actually be channel two. So channel one, channel two. Over here on the opposite side, got my right side cyclic. Servo arm is here with the ball facing aft. That is channel three. And down in the bottom, uh, spline shaft facing aft. This is the rudder servo channel four with the servo arm vertical we showed earlier. Routing for the cables. This works fairly well. Um, elevator servo is routing back a little bit and following along. Uh, left side cyclic, looping the cable here. I think you could run the rudder cabling either underneath the main gear or cross up and catch this pair of holes and go across. Either way, the rudder servo is going to use an extension cable provided by a line. And I've got that up near the nose of the helicopter. You can see that has been um, heat shrunk in place opposite side of the helicopter so we have the same servo route servo cable routing down out of the way of the motor that's the important part we don't have any excess pressure on the fly barless unit as we continue this I have the micro beast plus mounted on the front facing forward so this is a horizontal pins forward configuration we're going to get to here in just a minute when we start setup I've got my AR7700 Spectrum SRXL receiver. Set my battery out of the way. And we're about ready to go. I have the main shaft installed with the main gear. You'll see here I got main gear in place. Um, when you receive the kit, there are two collar spacers. What you're looking for is with the bolt into the main gear, this main shaft should not have any play in it but you should also not be having to force the bolt to get through. So if the main shaft has a little bit of play, you can use one of the collars and eventually get it so it's, it's not going to move around. And you need that to get the adjustments right when we're doing the fly barless setup. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and power up. I need to get the fly barless to initialize. Let me zoom in here a little bit. We can see the Micro Beast initializing right now. Blue light, I heard the servos move. We are now ready to start pro programming. So we're going to do the setup button held down until the lights go solid. Okay, based on a quick reference card, first thing we have to do, position A on setup menu, is set device orientation. So light off, horizontal, socket in the front, exactly what I want. We already went through this earlier, swash plate servo update rate. Um, we're setting the swash plate servo update rate at 200 hertz, which is solid blue. Still good. Point C, rudder servo center pulse, 1520 microseconds, solid blue. That's right. Point D, rudder servo update rate, 333 hertz is blue flashing. That is correct. Now we get to point E, which is rudder servo limit. So here we have to come to the back of the airframe. And I'm going to start by moving the pitch slider all the way to one side right before it makes contact I stop there that was actually left I wait for about a second and a half or two seconds and I start bringing the tail back to the right and right there at the end of the travel that is my right hand side move the camera a little bit I pause there that allows the beast X to set okay we're going to come back up here in the front I am now in rudder servo gyro uh, sensing. So what I want to do is move the helicopter. Right now, if you watch, the helicopter blades are moving with the tail. I need to bump the rudder stick, and now the blades are going to resist tail motion. So if I move the, the, the tail rapidly to your left, I should see the blades counter away from that to counteract the rotation. Okay, back up here in the front. 
we're going to go to point G. And we're going to set up the servos. We initially set the arms at close to center when we uh, started this helicopter. I'm going to put the Align swash leveler on here. Um, just wanted to show a couple of pieces here. Close, the easiest way to find you know your center here is the the inside color on the Align swash leveler is just a hair past halfway down on this lower hole. Upper hole is here, lower side. So coming through, visual cues on the fuselage, uh, the servo arms themselves are nearly lining up if you were to track the arm out um, with the, the hole in the, in the carbon fiber here. We are down just a little bit off center to make all this work with the servo links provided. So I think this is actually a great place to start if we look at uh, here this servo arm is about lined up with uh, this hole in the frame and we're just a hair below center on the elevator servo. So if we look at that, the, all the link arms are the exact right length according to the manual. We went ahead and set here. I'm level all the way around using the micro B setup. What I can do is jump through each servo, I step through with the rudder, and when I'm actually in leveling mode with one of the lights on, so right now you'll notice the blue light is illuminated with G, so I'm still in swash plate centering mode. Here just a hair below half. If we go ahead and drop the main rotor head on, we'll do this about here, one bolt across, catch the upper mount here. I go ahead and connect the swash, the any the rotation driver, the swash driver, which is actually going to move the swash around with the head. And I have three links here. These came with the five with the five fifty three blade head. Um, they're supposed to be set to fifty seven millimeters, and we can go through and check here. We are very close. What I did is came to fifty seven at the middle. And then I gave them an additional half a turn to get the Align logos to be opposite of each other. So one facing each way. If I look at my setup here, and this last one, I'm going to want all of them started at 57. They come in half a turn. If I connect this to the rotor head, bring this down right here. Get each one of these, make sure the A logo is out. Okay, so if we can come across the top of the rotor head, sorry for moving my camera around a bit, come across the top here, the zero index marks at the head here here and here are very close to being spot on. So without using any sort of blade leveling so far, we're going to put a pitch gauge on here in a little while. What we've got is 57 millimeter links coming up from the head. I showed you approximately where to put the main shaft. Got the 59 millimeter links coming up from the servos or 59.5. Servos line up with, or at least fairly close. The servos are going to line up direct line over to the hole in the fuselage. It's a good visual reference point. And we are very close to being zero pitch all the way around. We'll test it with the pitch gauge here in just a minute.